Dr. Karen Singh, dear friends, excellencies. Um, Tagore went to Brazil twice, as a matter of fact, but only for one day each, each uh, way. I, on his way to Argentina and on his way back to Europe when his steam, steamship uh, uh, stopped in, in Rio de Janeiro. His influence, however, was very big in Brazil. It's, uh, since the beginning of the century, since, since he got the uh, Nobel Prize, uh, he's been translating in Brazil and have a very big influence until today uh, in Brazilian literature, in Brazilian letters. He influenced many of our great poets and he's still very well, uh, very cherished in uh, Brazilian, uh, by the Brazilian public. We can find there are many, many translations today. We have many streets named after him in many of the Brazilian cities. And uh, curiously, when I was searching for uh, some uh, data about uh, Tagore in Brazil, I found out that uh, we have many Brazilians named after Tagore. Uh, we pronounce, by the way, we don't pronounce Tagore, we pronounce Tagori. <laughs> so we have many, many hundreds or many thousands even of Brazilians whose first name is Tagore, as a, as a homage to, to Tagore. And more surprisingly, uh, when I was looking for that in the internet, I found out that there are many uh, groups in uh, those uh, social networks uh, in, in Portuguese, in Brazilian Portuguese, dedicated to Tagore. Many thousands of Brazilians exchange uh, 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 poems by Tagore, even try their hands on new translations. So that's what I did. I tried my hand in uh, a very popular poem by Tagore, and I'm going to recite it for you. It's from Groot Fruit Gathering, and it's like that. I, I read that in English first. Let me not pray to be sheltered from dangers, but be fearless in facing them. Let me not beg for the ceiling of my pain, but for the heart to conquer it. Let me not look for a life in life's battlefield, but to my own strengths. Let me not crave in anxious fear to be saved, but hope for the patience to win my freedom. Grant me that I may not be a coward, feeling your mercy in my success alone, but let me find the grasp of your, land in my, of your hand in my failure. And in Portuguese, that would be uh, like that. Que eu não peça resguardo dos perigos, mas destemor para enfrentá-los. Que eu não suplique alívio de minha dor, mas ânimo para conquistá-la. Que eu não procure aliados na peleja dessa vida, mas apenas minha própria força. Que eu não implore na ânsia do medo para ser salvo, mas por paciência para ganhar a liberdade. Conceda-me não ser covarde, sentindo-me apenas na vitória a sua bondade mas que também em meus fracassos encontre a segurança de sua mão. Thank you.